children please turn to page number 12 the writer tells us another instance when king jang jang bahadur was about to lose his throne a high ranking british officer visited pratibandhapuram he was very fond of hunting tigers and wanted to get himself photographed with the dead tigers he wanted to hunt tigers in pratibandhapuram but as the maharaja had banned killing tigers by any other person he first asked for his permission but the maharaja turned down his permission he offered him to go on any other hunting like a mouse hunt or even a mosquito hunt but he refused to arrange a tiger hunt for this british officer the british officials secretary sent a message to the maharaja that the durai that is the official himself did not want to kill the tiger the king could kill the tiger the officer only wanted to get himself photograph with the carcass of a tiger but the king did not agree to this proposal also he said that if he relaxed his decision and allowed the official to get himself photographed with the dead tiger then other british officers would also come to pratibandhapuram in order to fulfill their wish of hunting a tiger as the king had refused the british officer from fulfilling his wish he was now in danger of losing his kingdom the king had discussions with his ministers over this issue the king sent a telegram to a famous british company of jewelers based in calcutta he asked them to send samples of expensive diamond rings of different designs the jeweler sent 50 rings and the maharaja sent all of them to the british officer's wife he wanted to please her in order to make good the damage that he had done by refusing the official from going on a tiger hunt in his kingdom the king had expected that the british officer's wife would choose one or two rings and return the others but she sent a reply saying thank you for the gifts and she kept all the rings after two days the british jewelers sent a bill of 3 lakh rupees for the 50 diamond rings they had sent the maharaja was happy that he had saved his kingdom for a sum of 3 lakh rupees children please turn to page number 13 the king was very successful in his tiger hunting missions in a span of 10 years he had killed 70 tigers an unplanned problem stopped his mission the problem was that there were no more tigers in pratibandhapuram the writer creates humor when he says that maybe the tigers practiced birth control activities and did not produce offsprings or maybe they committed suicide 
He also adds that it could be that they ran away from Pratibandhapuram because they did not want to be killed by an Indian and on the other hand, they wanted to be killed by a Britisher. The Maharaja found a solution to this problem. He asked his minister, the Divan, to make a list of all the kingdoms and the number of tigers they had. The minister adds that the king's ancestors were married to the sword and so if he wanted, he could marry the gun. But marrying a tiger and getting a tiger queen for the kingdom of Pratibandhapuram was not a good thought. He added that the tiger king was enough for the state and they did not need a tiger queen. Next, the minister was supposed to find out if there was a girl worth marrying in the royal family of a state which had a large number of tigers. The minister followed the orders and he found the right girl from a state which had a large number of tigers. So every time King Jang Jang Bahadur visited his father-in-law, he would kill five or six tigers in the kingdom. In this manner, the king killed 99 tigers and the skins of the tigers decorated the walls of the lobby hall of the Pratibandhapuram palace. We come to the end of this podcast. In the next podcast, we will continue with the explanation of page number 14.